Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and I'm just going to do the new legendaries and the football outsiders and all that stuff in this video. Uh, I wanted to wait until there was an Isaac Bruce up on the auction, so that's why I waited to do this. He actually popped up yesterday, but I was unable to make a video at that time. So, I'm going to make the video now. Sorry it's a little bit late. I like to show the card uh, in the video, so that's why uh, not always does the video get shown when the, the uh, Legends come out. The Football Outsiders were pretty much up immediately, but... I had to kind of wait for the uh, for the Isaac Bruce to show up. Let me see here. Okay, I have one collection to do for you guys. I don't know why I went to loyalty. I have the next gen Casey Hayward to do. I have the where is it? There it is. Man defense and zone defense. Uh, so. I'll tell you why I'm doing this. Um, I'm doing it because I'm trying to... I already sold one of the cards. So you guys know I had my number collection, but I decided to sell them because they're worth a lot of coins, and I don't really need them. Uh, so I, I just decided it would be better if I just sold them. Because uh, I don't really like... I don't really want to use Keenan Allen. That Joe Hayden's worth about 200k since it's the same number. But there's that Casey Hayward. It's pretty good. It's press is a little low. But it's going to be my third corner anyway. So it's a good roster filler for now until something better comes out that I want. Also gives me the Lombardi pack. Which can make everything worth it if I can just pull one of the major collectibles. But no. Uh, pulled the quarter zone blitz. Uh, which isn't terrible. But not really what you're looking for. Uh, I'll go into the, uh, actually I'll show you the solo challenge that just came out uh, today. The challenge of the week, Sox, Pats, Man, Klee, and the Conch. Uh, you play all three games, you get 4,500 coins and a Lombardi pack, uh, which I guess is fine. It'll take you, uh, it'll probably take me 45 minutes, 40 minutes, maybe less depending on uh, if things work out my way or if I get kind of screwed. But you can see I have the Joe Hayden up on the auction. I'm willing to sit on it. I don't need it to sell. Uh, I sold the Keenan Allen uh, early, either last night or early today. I don't know. It's 3.30 Eastern time. So whenever War Milk bought the number 13 out of 100, Keenan Allen for 200K, uh, that's when I got my coins. And then Joe Hayden... I'm going to hold out. I, I want at least 200k for him, so I'm just going to hold out until somebody's willing to pay it because I don't I don't really need to get rid of him. That's not really like... I don't know. With, with that card, I'm willing to keep it. I just want to see if... I'm just going to test the, the market kind of and see if I can get what I want for it. So if you're willing to buy it, uh, it's on the Xbox One. It's up. It's going to continue to be up for quite some time. It's not. It's 94. Uh, but these are the football outsiders, if you didn't know. They're going to come out with, I think, positional football outsiders. Uh, Tyron Smith, left tackle. Uh, they're doing the offensive line. Uh, they did the offensive line last Friday. So Tyron Smith, pretty decent, 94 overall. I don't know if I'd pay 43 k for a 94 overall, but I don't know. I really haven't spent coins. I'm, I, I can't really give you an opinion on spending coins on linemen because I haven't spent coins on linemen ever because it just doesn't seem worth it to me so it really hasn't happened I'd rather buy skilled position players which is kind of a problem with my team but here is the football outsider John Asamoa and he's only a 91 overall so he's only 9k but he's got some good pass blocking stats uh, decent run blocking stats so 9k is not bad but he's only a 91 It'll, it's just like a whatever you prefer <laughs> kind of thing. But I actually pulled this Nick Hardwick then, oh, he's 96, but I actually pulled this thing uh, like on Friday night. I opened up a couple uh, pro packs and I actually pulled them and sold mine for 45k or something like that. But he's going for 42, he's a 96 overall. I actually have the original Nick Hardwick, or not, the, the Road to the Playoff 93 Nick Hardwick, so we can kind of compare. He's got two better strength, two better pass block stats, Eight better run block strength, nine better run block footwork. So he is, he's a lot better. Uh, but 
not the 40k better that uh, I would be looking for, or how much does the other one sell? The other one sells for, for I'd sell it for 12, so for 30k it's not worth it to me, uh, but that's just me. And then next we've got, oops, he's that. We have got Josh Sitton. Oh, left guard. I was like, nobody's pulled Josh Sitton. But there he is. That's the base set one. There's the Football Outsiders. 22K. He's 93 overall. Not awful stats. Uh, nice run blocking stats. Not the greatest pass blocking, but good run blocking. So if you're a heavy run team, he might. he's probably a really good option for you. But then you got to kind of compare and you got to kind of look at this. That's what I try to do with the lower overalls. Depend because sometimes, like the Deshaun Jackson, they've made three of, or four of them technically. Uh, the base set, the fantasy, the road to the playoffs, and the playoffs one. If you look at all of them, really, there's not a whole lot of difference. The base set to the fantasy, I think, is probably the biggest one, or the fantasy to the road to the playoffs. The road to the playoffs, the regular playoffs, there's not a whole lot of difference so you got to kind of keep that in mind when you're looking at cards to buy you just got to got to make sure you don't overpay for anything or waste coins that you could otherwise saved unless you're just all about having the highest overall of a card uh, but the final card is marcus cannon uh, right tackle patriots and he's got some good strength decent run block not the greatest pass block that's kind of awful pass block uh, so i definitely wouldn't buy him uh, other other than the fact that I'm a Patriots fan, but I'm not making an all-Patriots team, so there's no reason for me to buy him. So that's not going to happen. That's that's pretty bad. But supposedly there was a Julius Peppers that came out. I don't know. Somebody was telling me it came out. I don't know if he's under Panthers or Bears. I'm just going to have to look. There it is. Madden All-25, Julius Peppers, 99 overall. Good speed at 88. 90 awareness, 98 finesse move, 91 block shed. That's a pretty good card. Uh, I don't, don't think I'd pay 300,000 for it when you can get Deacon Jones for like 60. But it's a nice card. When it comes down, it's it's probably on most of the good. Well, I don't know. For 300k, I don't know how many people are running it. Uh, but it looks pretty good. I'd love to test it out, but don't have the coins, obviously. And then this was the card that I was most excited about that came out, and I'm definitely going to have to pick it up. It's a little too expensive for me to want to buy it right now, but eventually I will get it. And that is the Isaac Bruce. Let's see here, there he is going for 400k. Flip him over, he's got some, he's, got, he's a well-rounded receiver. 95 speed, 97 agility, 92 awareness, 97 route running. 96 catching, 95 catching traffic, 94 spec catch, and 93 release. Uh, I'd love to see his depth chart stats. Um, if you want, I'm going to start throwing Mutthead in the description. Just go on there and you can check out all the stats for all the players. Uh, full depth chart stats and all that. Or, yeah, all the full the full stats for them and whatnot. So give them a check and uh, you'll be able to look at all of them. But the Isaac Bruce is a monster. I really want to get him. Uh, really, I'm just trying to get... There's really not that many cards that I'm now saving for or trying to get, but they're all expensive. You got the Randy Moss and you got the Isaac Bruce. You've got Sean Taylor. Uh, you got a Richard a Richard Sherman. Um, not even the best Richard Sherman. Maybe just an elite, the low end, the 91 I'd even take. But I, I don't, I don't really know. I'd probably get the higher one. And then I don't know. There's a couple other things that I would get. Uh, but my team is a little weird looking because I kind of restructured it since I s I'm selling those things. I'm still keeping my 91 out of 100 Richardson because Sheldon Richardson is just a monster. And he's <laughs> he's just really good. I didn't think he'd be that good, but he's got good speed and the great trucking. So, yeah, I'm thinking about buying another running back, but I'm stuck with LeGarrette Blunt and Emmett Smith. And I wish one of them was fast because they're both just trucking backs and it's they're slow and it's kind of a problem. Pass offense is a little goofy with Des Bryant and Josh Gordon and Randy Moss. It's just a little messed up. And then I'm also using the stupid cover vote, Calvin Johnson. Uh, this hasn't really changed. And the secondary has brought back Vontae Davis. Now I'm adding Casey Hayward. 
Devin McCourty and all that's the same. When I get the Sean Taylor, I'm going to play him as strong safety and keep Devin McCourty. I think Sean Taylor may be the next thing I buy, but I'm not sure. Not entirely sure. Make sure this cornerback thing is all set up right. Yeah. But that's going to do it uh, for this video, guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying the uh, gameplay content that I've been uploading. I'll open up one pack while I'm talking here. Uh, but... If you have, just uh, drop those videos a like. Let me know. And uh, the more likes a video gets, it lets commentators know, like, uh, the more that their fans are liking the their content. But other than that, uh, I hope you guys, you know, always enjoy my videos. Uh, and I will catch you all.